Hello. Going to talk today a bit about dads, dads in recovery. Uh, it's Friday, and uh, Father's Day is coming up in a couple of days, right? And uh, um, you know, it's a big deal if you're a dad, and uh, uh, you know, you're kind of thinking about Father's Day. You're thinking, jeepers, you know. How are things with you and your kids? Um, <coughs> just want to tell you a little bit about um, just what brought this up today. I, I, last night I got to speak uh, in a treatment center and, and uh, you know, there's about 25 people in the, in the audience at this treatment center and, and I was telling my story. And, and my story is that uh, <coughs> at 25, I was 25 years old, and uh, the gal that I was spending time with uh, got pregnant, and and uh, imagine that, and and so I woke up, literally, I woke up at at uh, I was 25 years old, and I woke up married with a with a little baby girl, and uh, and I was a I was a practicing addict alcoholic, right, and. And I didn't have any friggin' idea how to be in a relationship, a committed relationship with, with a woman. Uh, and, uh, and certainly I had no idea on how to be a dad. And, and, and I think that's the case for lots of fellas. Uh, you know, and, and I, I gotta I think back, you know, what was she thinking? I was not a very good choice. I was just not a very good choice as a, as a man to be the father of her children, and uh, but there I was, and, and um, with no handbook, no idea, no real role model. My dad, by that time, had was on his third marriage, and uh, uh, you know, uh, so the, a lot of the fellas that I'm working with these days, you know, that's the case. They, they didn't have a, a role model. They didn't have a, you know, a great role model at, at the very least. And, and uh, um, you know, they didn't know how to be dads. And they didn't, most of us have no friggin' idea how to be honest in a relationship. I mean, um, addiction and, and, and alcoholism is, is, is not about honesty, it's about dishonesty. In, in, you know, we, it says in, in our recovery manual that you know we can't differentiate the truth from the false. So, um, so if you're one of those guys who, when when the kids came along, uh, was still practicing as an addict or an alcoholic, you don't you don't have to be in a relationship, let alone be uh, you know a, a, a dad. How to show up as a dad? And I get that. And, and uh, and now let's imagine. I mean, I, I I'm all about my purpose, all about supporting dads, all dads, right? And 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 yet with addicts and alcoholics, we, you know, we have a special uh, need. We really do. We, we, what often happens to us is that um, the root of our of our spiritual malady, if you will, is that we we we're terribly hard judges on ourselves, and and uh, and um, some would call it even self hatred. The alcoholic and the addict, you know, and and and, uh, um, and it's very hard to be on the planet and be, you know, in relationship when the the inner dialogue for the addict and the alcoholic, even in recovery, is you're a worthless piece of shit, and that's often our inner dialogue. So here we are, trying to be a dad, wanting to be a dad, but the voice is saying, you know, that we're worthless piece of shits, even in recovery that that doesn't go away that you know um, it's still there it's you know we're the we're the worst judge of ourselves and so often some of what I've run into over the last uh, few months is dads have got to this place where they're like ah, I think my kids would be better off without me I've heard that I've heard that what a lie that is that's ego lying to us you know and we're listening and so we, we move away in self-pity, right? We move away in fear. And now Father's Day is happening, you know, this week. And, and for the dad who's, who's kind of, it looks like abandoned their children, right? 
That's what it looks like. I, I've talked to so many men who said, my dad didn't show up. He abandoned us. I want you to know that when, if he was an addict and an alcoholic, the voice he had in his head was, this is probably the best thing I can do for my kids, is to move away from them. And it's bullshit, but that's what, that's the voice. And some of you guys will know that voice. You've heard it. You know what I'm talking about. You know, and uh, because we've damaged, you know, sometimes we've damaged the relationship with their mother so bad. We've broken the trust with their mother so bad. You know, and it just takes, you know, she's angry. Not much wonder she's angry. You know, it didn't go well, right? And we're thinking, well, I, I don't know what to do here. Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of short advice and just, you know, it, one is hang in there. Like, stay with it. Uh, you have children. It's Father's Day. Even if you're estranged from those children, find some way to reach out. If it's a phone call or a text, you know, sometimes you're, it, it, it's difficult because you're at a stage where maybe even you, you don't have access. But find some way to reach out, to let them know that you love them. You know, even if you don't understand what that means, you know, it, and um, you know, I, I counsel lots of guys who are uh, have found themselves estranged from their kids. To, to, uh, if you can arrange one phone call a week, if you can arrange, you know, to connect, uh, even once a week. I have a, um, I know a fella that, <coughs> who. Uh, um, actually did it every day he, he had it set up on his phone so that his you know the timer went off on his phone every evening and he would uh, um, call his his daughter every day around seven o'clock <coughs> and it's amazing because you know he never they he never did get together with her mom but he parented by connecting every day you know, and now she's 14, and uh, um, you know, and this has gone on for years. And, and she knows that her dad loves her because he connected every day. They didn't live together, but he connected every day, and, and it's beautiful. So make those connections however you can do it. If you can't talk to them for some reason, you know, send them love. I mean, send an old fashioned card. I know Father's Day is supposed to be for the dad, but actually it's us that got the gift. We got to be a dad, you know. I, my, my daughter, who was six months old when I sobered up, I told her for years that she saved my life. She did, you know. Her, her coming into this world, you know, was for me what, what it was the turning point. It was like, you know, I woke up at 25, um, I hadn't been to school, I had I didn't have any formal education. I, I had been a practicing addict alcoholic since I was about 13. I'd been street time in Toronto and Vancouver. You know, I I, I was not a good pick. You know, I'm I, I, I don't want to tell you how I was making a living, and 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 you know I'm riding my Harley and I'm I, I've glamorized the criminal life. I think that wow I'm such a hot shot, and and uh, all of a sudden uh, this little baby girl shows up. You know, and, and uh, uh, what a gift. And, and so, I, you know, that was my <clears throat> motivation to get sober. Uh, but when I sobered up, did I have any idea of how to be a dad? None. <laughs> so if you feel like, geez, I don't know how to do this job or I don't, you know, it's okay. It's all right. Help is on the way, you know, and, and uh, just know that, you're, that you want to and that you're going to. At the magpies, hey! Eh? What beautiful to be outdoors, and uh, uh, the little fans behind me—can you see them? That's to keep the magpies out of the garden. It kind of keeps them at bay a bit. So, anyway, where was I? Yeah, what a gift Emily was. Honestly, for years I told her that she saved my life. You know, and and uh, so what do we want to do as men who are dads in recovery? One of the things that I found from many of us you know it, our mission if you will is to break the chain the chain of the disconnect with dads yes but also the chain of ad addiction and alcoholism in our families you know and you're the example you're the beginning it starts with you right you're sober today and you're a dad it starts with you and, and uh, to show up and be there in whatever way that you can 
whatever's you know and, and if there's healing to be done with them you know the mum then take the time it takes time right just be there in love not in anger you know uh, be there knowing that you know we've caused some damage and and she's mad because of that and, and uh, um, you know be there in love and, and that will heal it, you know I know that will heal I know that from my own situation uh, I was terrible in relationship you know um, I, I been married a couple of times and, and it didn't you know I was not the best in even in recovery I was not the, the best at these committed relationship idea and, and uh, so don't imagine that you know that uh, you're such a terrible person if it didn't kind of work it, it uh, yeah it's difficult stuff it really is and and, uh, and we're not mature either I mean when we first sober up um, every one of us will go to the front of the room in a 12-step meeting and say yeah I know I'm 40 but but actually uh, I, I'm about 14 and emotionally and and that's that's where most of us are when we first start you know we're we're, we're not emotionally developed and it takes a while for us to grow up and and uh, you know <coughs> um, you know doing the steps helps us grow up we 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 there, there's a design for living in the 12 steps that helps us to to you know know uh, some practical stuff you know it gives us some practical direction but it also teaches us how to build this relationship with a higher power which is love and that's my interpretation of higher power is love and we build this relationship with this with this higher power and and let's call it love all right just you know for for sake of, of discussion, we'll call it love. Let's say that that your concept of a higher power, you know, is love. Even if you think there's no such thing as a god, and and uh, but you know that there's love, and you believe in love, and so love is your higher power, and and uh, and and through that, you know, you know what would love do? Then then we start to to recognize that, you know, the actions that are necessary so that our kids know that we love them, right? Yeah, doesn't matter how old they are or how old you are. Love melts all of the uh, the uh, resistance with their mom, with everybody. Love, not judgment, not fear, but love. And uh, so anyway, going into this Father's Day, you know, if you've got a dad, he's in recovery, reach out to him, know that he struggles. Doesn't matter how long he's been in recovery. That 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 crazy voice, the, the the inner critic, is you know with us till the end, <laughs> with us till the end, and, and uh, uh, so if you got a dad and he's in recovery, reach out to him, right? Talk to him if he's passed, even you know, give some thought towards him and send love to him. And if you are a dad and you're in recovery, you know, as we go into Father's Day, don't expect anything just be available to love you know show up when they ask you to show up <laughs> all right so that's it I, I might do a couple of these this weekend because you know this is a big deal weekend dad father's day coming up and i don't know if it's all over the world or whether it's just in the kind of the west you know but this uh, this sunday is father's day for us here in canada and uh um, I'd love to hear your comments if you're watching this on YouTube I'd love it if you'd make a comment or like the video and you know just all of you men who who I know right just I love you yes you are loved and, and uh, um, you know your kids need you it doesn't matter how old they are that, that is an important thing you know we're going to break the chain doing that with dads I'm, I'm open to that and, and uh, we're going to do another dance and recovery course uh, later this year uh, I think it, we'll do another live one and then we're going to have the course uh, set up on the internet so that it can be taken uh, kind of with the without being live we're going to do it evergreen and, and then you can we have a Facebook group which is just it's a private Facebook group for dads in recovery for just dads in recovery and, and uh, so we can support each other 
right? We can share our wins and, uh, and, and ask questions about what other men have done in their situations. So get in touch with me if you want to be part of all that. All right. Love you guys. Lots. Cheers. I love my kids. I'm very blessed with, with uh, kids and grandkids. Imagine. Okay, cheers.